Hey, what's up guys? This is Evac here. So, today I'm going to go ahead and do some arena duels. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and check out which team I'm actually running this week. So, running uh, Hector, Eldigan, Ephraim, and uh, Lucina. Mainly because they have... These units have like the highest BST in, uh, in all the units I have currently have right now. What BST stands for is pretty much a uh, base stat total. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, start things off. So uh, I actually did like uh, one arena match and then uh, I forgot that I forgot to record. So I just gave up on that match and uh, here I am now. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, start our first match. Let's see what, what do we have here. What's on the other team now? Alright, so they have an Ephraim. Let's see, Eldigan, Lucina, and you know, so pretty much it looks like this team is... Uh, Kind of like a buff team center around uh, Nino right now. So let's go ahead. I guess like the biggest threat in this team right. is pretty much Nino. All so right. that's that's the team that I kind of want to... Right. Pretty much that's the unit that Leave I want to me. take out as soon as possible or else uh, bad things will happen. Okay. So we'll just do that. Hopefully Ephraim will go down here and then suicide. So there, there's Ephraim right there. Uh, the only thing is like, let's see... Actually, I could go ahead and take out Nino, so she, since she's by herself. Let's go. All right, so there's Nino. The only thing is, uh, Ephraim is over here. On it. And then uh, I would place my Hector over here on the left side, but right now, because uh, Eldigan's right there, it's not really good, right. and Eldigan could de definitely double my Hector. So, uh, not not Let's a go. smart move. So oh, we'll, we'll we'll do this. We'll see how Elegant plays out. Hmm, alright. So that just happened. So right now, I, I de definitely need to actu actually do something. Uh, let's see here. So I could actually... What can I do here? In this situation. On it. Put Hector down here. Alright, so I could put Hector down here. And then move... Leave it to me. Oh, Ephraim right here, so take her out. So, next turn, Ephraim's probably gonna attack my Ephraim. And I don't believe... Yeah, he can't double me or anything like that, so I'll be alright. All right. Uh, so right now, I guess I want to okay. position my Lucina right here. Huh. Just so I could have my Lucina and Eldigan pretty much gang up on these two. Alright, so right now, going pretty well. So we could go ahead and take him out right there. All Can right. I take him out? No, I can't take him out. Wow. Leave it to that me. is that is quite unfortunate. Actually, I might Let's be able go. to take him out with uh, Lucina. Shall we? Alright, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and take him out right there. Let's go. Alright, so it's 28 damage. Alright, so huh. gotcha. Alright, All right, there we go. Easy game. Alright, so done that. So right now, gotta have to refresh my my swords. I'm gonna try to see if I could do it all in one setting. My original plan is to do six today and then wait for the uh the sword refresh, because I'm actually really cheap. Even though I have like sixty swords. Alright, let's see here. And the only weakness in my team right now is pretty much uh, I don't have any range range units and wow this team has both a Ify and a Hector but they have a Robin too uh, so pretty much I want to position my Hector towards the left side or at least towards the side where uh, Leave it to me. where Robin will Let's attack go. Hector okay All right, so right. We'll, we'll do this All right. for now and we'll see where uh, Robin goes so that's where Robin is going right now so I could okay Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. All right. We're gonna slowly position Hector there. Alright, so let's see. Robin's actually might go on this side, so Shall we? I wanna put my other game back. We'll do that. I actually dislike this stage a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of this stage. So, right now, so definitely let's go. Robin's in. Uh, Hector's range right now. Okay. So I'm gonna Let's move go. this back. All right. So Hector can take out Robin. And the next turn, I wanna move my Eldigan towards the left side on this space. 
I'm not sure if my uh, bandy cam actually records my mouse pointing thing. If it doesn't, then uh, that's quite unfortunate. All right, so right now Hector's Hector pretty much done his job and take out Robin. Uh, right now, let's see here. I want to go ahead and position my Ephraim over here so it saves my Hector. And then my Hector has to fight another hard battle, aka has to take out Ify. All right. Let's go. Okay, so we'll we'll okay. go ahead and move right here. All right. So Ify's gonna do. I'm not sure if Ify can actually kill my Hector. That's that's the only thing that I'm scared of. Because my Elder is not going to be doing any damage. Mm, and I, I can actually take out. Uh, All right. No, let's, let's just do that. Huh. All right, so All right. we'll do this. Hmm. Okay, so that actually happened. Uh -huh. That's interesting. Okay, so I could definitely go ahead and just uh, skip my turn here. Shall we? I'll move my Elgin up here. Leave it to me. Hmm, interesting. So, Hector is pretty much double back. I'm not too sure why, like, defense, defensive units or defensive team include uh, any kind of, like, armor units. Because they are they only can move one space at a time, and uh, they're not that great, to be honest. So, Let's right go. now, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, move my Eldigan and Lucina. So, I can pretty much attack him right there. He's going to do zero damage, and Lucina's going to take him out. Okay. Like, if I can get a give a tip how, on how to build a defensive unit, is just kind of, kind of maybe like stay away from using any kind of armor units, unless maybe if your team has it's consists of four armor units, just because well, the uh, the units that has a greater mobility, it's just gonna leave the units uh, the armor units behind, just because that's how that's just how AI works. So I'm not too bad right now. But uh, let's see what I what can I get this week. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to go for a no death run, but I don't know anything can happen. So let's see here. They have a Takumi, Hector, Ify, and Lucina. Again, I've been seeing a lot of Hectors and Ify right. lately. At least it's probably because my BST is high. Let's go. And then, uh, if you guys don't know what BST oh, is, it's pretty much, um, All right. uh, it's called base stat total. And how that, how you determine, like, if your unit has a, uh, I guess a high base stat total is pretty much how many stat points does your unit have. Uh, generally, if you want to find out if, which unit has more or higher base stat total is, uh, just go to, you know, edit team and then, uh, sort about, sort them out by rating Let's and go. from there, uh, whichever has a higher rating has more stats. That's that's how I usually uh, find it. So pretty much here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just move my Elding here. So then he could just uh, Takumi could just take himself out next round. Uh, let's see here. What I want to do here? Do I want to move anything? No, I don't want to move anything. So we'll just leave it like that. Uh, we'll just see here. No, they can't. Move it. Do anything we'll just do that all right there we go so so right. I can go ahead and let's see so okay. what I could do is this Leave and this so pretty much Lucina will take herself out next turn and let's see what plus Lucina is this this is a plus two Lucina all right Let's go. So all that's left now Let's is go. pretty much I have to take take down Ify and uh, Hector, which shouldn't be an issue just because I have both Eldigan and. Oh wow! So odd situation where Ify just decided to just push Hector to the right, which is which makes things a lot easier for me to be honest, because now I could actually separate my team and just take him out individually. Oh, so right. good things happen, pretty much. All right. Uh, so right now I want to move right. Hector here. I would. Okay. Actually, Lucina can take out Hector in one blow. All right. Huh. So I don't need to risk my Lucina. I don't need to use two units to take out Hector, which is All really right. good for me. 
Let's go. All right. And what what plus IP is this? Damn, this is a plus three IP. Holy moly. On it. And then uh, I can actually just take her out with Ephraim. I might as well. So it's pretty good. And then maybe I should uh, include the like the battle in animation. Might be a little bit more interesting for you guys to watch. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. I usually don't run battle animations because uh, I find myself like skipping it most of the time. But just for the sake of this video, I know like some people actually like the battle animation. I might as well just put it in here. So doing pretty well so far. Three win streak, uh, no death so far. And if you guys are interested or in seeing like what uh, what merge units I have, I have Lucina, which is a plus three. Airframe's a plus four, and then these two are plus ones. Usually, you could tell which ones are merge units because he has a a blue background. So I'm doing pretty well right now. Okay, so. A trend here is that I've been noticing so far is uh, Hector and Ify. Oh man, so the units that I want up down here is uh, these two. It's pretty much the situation has been reversed. So what I want to do is try to move my Eldigan. Actually, my Eldigan can stay right here. Pretty much, I want to get my Hector like away from Eldigan. All right. As far as possible, just because, uh, oh man, look at that. Look at that All movement. Right. Huh. All right. Okay. Shall we? All right, so that's what we're going to do. Let's go. Can I? Actually, he can't take me out. See, look, that's the difference between, uh, our Eldigans. My Eldigans is a attack minus Eldigan. So, I'm going to do huh. three damage less than him. So, pretty much what I can do is I could definitely go ahead and lure that Eldigan right here and have my Ephraim kill him. So, my Ephraim 1, 2, is based right here. So, it's going to be down. So, I have to position him like, he's going to be right here. Hmm. So, Let's what I have go. to do is pretty much move my Eldigan back right here. There's no point in uh, having my Eldigan take uh, unnecessary damage right now. So what I want to do now is, since I don't have to take damage, I could just move my Eldigan on this side. Leave it to me. Move Ephraim right here. So more than likely, uh, his Eldigan is gonna go ahead and attack my Eldigan, which is not gonna do much. On it. And then look at look at Ify and uh, Selif just creeping up behind us. There we go. Huh. Alright, so I have to take out his out again this round, which I should be able to. There we go. Alright. And then he can't really do much right here. So, uh, I'm not. I usually don't need to engage to attack him just because uh, I'm trying to minimize the amount of damage I take, pretty much. Alright, so right now, uh, I just need to take out. Well, I'm pretty sure my Eldigan himself could just go take out Hector, so I don't need Lucina's help or anything okay. like that. So I could go ahead and move these units up, up on top. And there's Hector. And then I didn't engage Hector because he has Armad. So pretty much what Armad does is uh, whenever Hector is above a certain HP threshold, which is above 80%, he could go ahead and attack twice. So I didn't want him to attack twice. And there we go. We just go ahead and knock out Eldigan. Alright, so right now, we have Sulif right here. Alright, All right, so I can't take him out, but right. what I can okay. do is, let's see here. Let's Put go. him back here, and then we'll just leave uh, Hector up here. I don't think I need to move him back. Alright, so it's 6 damage mm -hmm. and 17. Okay, leave it to me. so let's go ahead and take him out. Yeah! Have you guys ever noticed that Selif's uh, trifling weapon looks exactly like uh, Mart's falchion? Let's go. Okay. All right. Okay. It looks like the model looks exactly the same. All right. All right. So I can just go ahead and kill her right here. 
So I'm going, doing pretty well so far. Onward. With my deathless right. run. Shall we? So IP's pretty much gonna take her outside, take her out right now. And I don't know if you guys are, uh, what's it called? Excited for the inherit system that's supposed to be released, uh, what? Tomorrow? Tomorrow at, on March 15th at 11 p.m. PST. But, which, it might be changed to, uh, to March 16th now just because of daylight saving. I'm not too sure. But I don't know if you guys are excited for it. I'm kind of... I'm, uh, I can't say I'm excited for it. I am curious of how much it will change the game. But I'm also a little bit scared too, just because there is a lot of broken, like, combination that you could, uh... It, it can potentially break the game in, in a, in a kind of, like, arena standpoint. And then, let's see here. They have... So right now, their biggest threat in their team is probably Julia, just because I don't have any, um, pretty much any kind of uh, range unit right now. But I have two reds right, right here, so it shouldn't be too big of a let's go too big of a problem. But uh, it's something that you still definitely watch out for. All right, so there's Julia right now. Oh man, they're, this team is actually going pretty aggressive. Uh, what I want to do here, so what I'm going to go ahead and predict, actually, Julie can actually take out my Leave Ephraim. Okay. So I want to move Onward. these unit back. All right. On it. And then hopefully, potentially, I, I can take out Julia next turn. So if I can take out Julia, then it, it's going it's, to, it's not going to really pose a threat to the other, like the other units aren't going to really pose too much Shall of a threat. So I could, all right. So Let's I could definitely go. take out Julia right there. All right. Oh man, that's that's quite unfortunate. Huh. Let's Shoot. Go. So I can't. Let's go. So it's gonna do, all right. So it's not gonna do too much damage. Shall we? All right. Uh. So the plan here. So I could definitely go ahead and have Eldigan take out Julia right now. So that's the biggest threat, and then uh. Erica shouldn't be able to kill me. Let's see, one, two, so I have to okay. move right here, pretty much. Leave it to me. Actually, Ephraim right. can take out Julia. Oh, not Julia, Erica. Oh man, why was I tripping out? All right, so I want to go ahead and just move this unit back. Onward. And go ahead and take out, almost take her out right here. Alright, so not All too right. much of an issue. There we go. I moved Lucina over here because Lucina actually has the uh, the buff. Yeah. Alright, so right now, in a pretty sticky situation because Sharina decided to move over right. here. Actually, not too big, to big of a sticky situation. Let's go. Alright, so everything's alright. All right. So definitely go ahead and attack Julia now. Not Julia, sorry. Sharina. There huh. we go take her out and then from my experience so far Hector has not been able to do Let's any go. damage to Eldigan so right. I shouldn't be too worried all right so let's see if Lucina can actually okay. take Hector out yeah she can actually take Shall her we? out all right so like I mean in my opinion Hector and Takumi is not really too much of a big threat anymore I guess people I mean, they're still really good units, but people actually know how to play around them now. Alright, so, so far, so good. So, I probably can get a Deathless run right here. Uh, as long as I don't get messed over by the next two match, or make any kind of crucial mistakes. Oh man, I actually... Absolutely hate this map with the goddamn passion. They have two red units, Julia and Ephraim. So pretty much, main concern is just Julia, and shit, she is a speed Julia too. So she could definitely take out my Hector. So I can't just counter her. Uh, what I'll have to do is pretty much 
place my Eldigan and and uh, Lucina okay. over here, and hopefully uh, I can go ahead and take out Julia without being taken out by Ephraim. That's that's pretty much the plan Leave right now. So let's let's just go with that. All right, so let's see here. I could definitely Shall go we? ahead. No, I can't even take out Julia. So that's that's even more. Okay. Oh man, that's that's just quite unfortunate. All right. All right, so let's see. All right, so I could definitely go ahead and take out Erica right here. Onward. Fifty-four. Uh, yeah. Leave so it to me. I'm, she's not gonna kill me, but Julia pretty much poses like the uh. big threat right here. And uh, it's definitely kind of frustrating that I'm not able to take her out. Shall we? Damn. So we gotta have to go. back up a little All bit. Right. So that Julia is definitely putting a lot of pressure on me at the moment. Oh no! Ah, there, there we go. Shall we? Fudge. All right, so there's there's our deathless run right there. So that's that's why the Julia was. Nah, I should have actually. That was my mistake. I should have. Uh, I keep on forgetting that. Shall we? That uh, what's it called? She has goddamn drawback. All right, so right now let's go ahead and just put myself back here. Well, rip the gene. All right, so. Let's go. Oh, what can I do Let's here? Go. Shall we? Could definitely take her out right there. On it. Thing is, huh. so what I want—I mean, this is this is the only Let's thing go. I can do right now. I can actually move right here, but in this situation, if I if I try to avoid any contact with them, uh, next turn will be. I think it would be really bad for me. Shall we? Okay. So let's go ahead and take out Erica. Huh. All right. Okay. So things are definitely looking pretty grim for me at the moment. All right. So not too bad right now. Yeah. Let's and go. I don't think I could take out Julia one. All right. Let's go. Actually, I can. Shall we? So what I have to do is, let's go. Hmm. On it. But if I go ahead and go. use Lucina over there, no, actually. All right. So what I can okay. do is, I'll probably abuse the uh, the AI system. Huh. So the Julia can't attack me, and then uh, the Julia will have to move back, and then the Lin has to move up. There we go. So Let's now go. what I'll have to do is shit. All right. Now so what I'll have to do is pretty much back up. Actually, can Let's I go. take her out? Okay. Uh, 54 minus 29. That's uh, was it 25? Yeah, 25 damage. Let's go. If I'm doing my math correctly. So oh. I could definitely go ahead and move this All guy right. back right here. <laughs> so next turn, Julia shouldn't be able to kill me. I can move my Hector oh, here, right. but uh, it's just going to be knocked out by Julia. There we go, 20 damage. So, had one casualty. It was definitely my fault for not for not noticing the drag, uh, the drag back. That's quite unfortunate. Like, personally, I actually don't really like Erica's drag back. A lot. I'm not too big of a fan. It's probably because I'm not really used to the uh, the mechanic of the drag back. Damn, they have a Julia again. So same situation where Julia definitely puts a lot of pressure in my team, and this is a plus what? Holy moly, a plus ten Julia. Oh man. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, plus eight. Whole what? Wow. Uh, so we're, we're either fighting like uh, an actual huge casher, like a huge whale, or just someone that's hacking the game. Let's go. Which I hope actually Nintendo does something about it. Shall we? Uh, soon. 
So this is definitely going to be a really, really hard matchup. Oh, but uh, it's okay because okay. uh, they have Camilla. And uh, Camilla is kind of bad. All right. Oh, sh I can't take out Julia. So that's, that's what sucks right now. And I'm actually getting a call right now. So uh, I actually have to check my phone. All right, so I'm back. Shall we? That's all right. So what I can do actually is I could actually, hmm, like even if I bait Let's in go. Julia, right? I'm I'm actually missing. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough damage to actually take her out, which is definitely quite the shame right here. Uh, the only thing I can really do. Okay, uh, so I could go ahead go. and, uh... Shall we? Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and use right. Eldigan to bait her in. He should be able to survive Julia. And then I'll have Lucina take her out next turn. Alright, and I should be safe in this situation. Yeah, so in this scenario, I am okay. safe. And I was able to take her out. Alright. Take her out. And let's see, this one... This Erica has... Alright, so let's not get messed up by drag back again. So, if this Erica attacks my Ephraim, oh my. so... I shouldn't drag her come back. But I shouldn't be able to be attacked by, Leave by Camilla, me. so... Huh. I'm in an alright situation. Uh, the only thing that poses a threat now... Uh, my Hector is all the way back here. And Ephraim is right there. So I have to try to move my Hector... Up here, so I, I shouldn't really engage right now. Hmm, let's see here. Onward. Actually, can Ephraim take out? All right. Nah, he can't. I mean, I could go ahead and see how it plays out. Actually, Onward. let's see. Leave it to me. Let's go ahead and see how it pans out. So there, there we go, right there. Okay. Let's so go. we have to move Onward. back. All right. So one, two, and then he's gonna attack right here, and then Camilla has this much range. So when she attacks right here, she's not gonna be able to drag me back, which is a good thing. So Leave let's go ahead me. and just. All right. We'll let's do go. this. This is what we're gonna go ahead and do. Yeah. All right, so looking pretty good now. Okay. Yep. There we go. Oh, so almost perfect run. Uh, just just one simple stupid mistake by me. Oh well. I mean, I'm not gonna always try again later. But uh, I just wanna get the score out of the way. Uh, just because. Once Inherit System comes in, right, that is definitely going to change Arena a lot. So if you're really into getting that high score, you should probably try to get the high score as soon as possible before the uh, the patch hit. Because I'm not too sure if, it's that, if that, that's going to make, you know, getting high scores easier or harder. It can be, it can go both ways depending on which unit you use. But uh, you definitely have to pay much more attention uh, into what what kind of kit the unit has and let's see what else is there yeah you get you kind of have to pay attention to what the unit has pretty much you got you, you have to look at every nook and cranny uh, pretty much and uh, that's that's definitely uh, I have not been doing that in that match I've been just uh, pretty much just eyeballing it and Assume that you know this is what's gonna happen, and just play by instinct instincts, and uh, that definitely caused one one death. No, oh, well. but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys do, go ahead, you know, subscribe, and that, yeah, take care, guys, and I'll talk to you later.